Trump will not be president. Highly critical, biased text messages between senior FBI officials Peter Strzok and Lisa Payne. There will be no question about the outcome of this election. And she got ahead of herself. This utterly stunned this campaign. Uh, head home. You should get some sleep. We'll have more to say tomorrow. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. The peaceful transition of power is one of the hallmarks of our democracy. We want to do everything we can to help you succeed, because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. These declassified documents that were just released. Uh, officials in the Obama administration were asking for the identities to be unmasked of Americans. Unmasking of aides and staffers of the incoming president. The basic charge political spying to disrupt the peaceful transfer of power unmasking of american citizens uh it, it could be a real problem why is it that the unmasking of flynn somehow ended up in the pages of the washington post i know nothing about those moves to investigate michael flynn the vice president said that yesterday and then the last name on this list is Joe Biden. The Obama administration was bitter. And they wanted to do everything they could to undermine the incoming Trump administration. Really designed to sabotage and really upend the new administration. An outgoing president and a vice president and a Washington Post columnist and the FBI setting up an incoming administration. Wow, that's a real conspiracy and nobody wants to talk about it. Woo. Now, this is a video that came from Chicago One Ray on Twitter, and he wrote Twitter under Jack Dorsey took this video down. Um, Barack ordered Barack Obama ordered the unmasking of General Flynn in illegally wiretapped Trump Tower, which was treason. And uh, we were never this divided as a country before Obama stepped foot in the White House. So, yeah, this is uh, the statement that he made. And for me, I had to definitely go do some research because I wanted to understand who Michael Flynn is and, uh, you know, the whole relation. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything here. So uh, for those who don't know, just like me, Michael Flynn rose through the ranks known for his intelligence roles, eventually becoming the director of defense intelligence uh, of the Defense Intelligence Agency under President Obama. His tenure at uh, DIA was marked by his outspoken views on the growing threat of radical Islam, which put him at odds with the Obama's administration, Obama administration. Uh, okay, so yeah, we I see that. So um, it says uh, controversies surrounding um, the Obama administration after 2016, 2016, the, after the, the election, Flynn's communications with Russia ambassador were uh, intercepted. Several Obama administration officials requested the unmasking of Flynn's identity, and those identity was later fueled claims of conspiracy against Flynn. Suggesting, okay, cool. So now I'm getting some thorough understanding into Obama's role into this, and. Uh, uh, the narrative that Flynn was unfairly targeted by the Obama administration due to his political views and his alignment with Trump's America First policy, which contrasted with Obama's more globalist approach. And that's what I got and gathered from that. Any home, uh, the black vote is leaning, learning that everything happens in America happening in america started with obama i don't know what's going on in my speech today y'all i'm trying to get it together and i don't have the time to actually record these videos so uh the quote here is you want to hear the truth here it is oh yes like it or not i will continue to post the truth about obama the abomination that has entered this country yes he is the embodiment of you've been looking for him right the antichrist that's who it is. Charming, charismatic, good looking, have the whole world fooled. That's Satan. You don't know that? You don't know that? How could you not know that in calling yourselves whatever you call yourself in the name of whatever you call yourself in the name of? You want to hear the truth? Here it is. He is the abomination. He is the antichrist, the embodiment of it. Satan will give his power to him and the truth speaker will slay his ass. Yes. Now, I can't just say for sure he's Satan, but I get um well, let me let me rephrase this whole thing. I'm not saying that he's like, you know, in religious terms, he's the Satan that's some here and nothing like that. I don't want to make that claim. That's not me um whatsoever, but I will say that 
you know, when he was in office, everything was fine. But since I've been educating myself, oh no, it, it's something that makes me uncomfortable about it. It's something in my spirit that gets real rattled. And I, I can't attribute to nothing specifically other than just, you know, certain knowing the divisiveness really and wondering where what's the intention, what's the motive. But yeah, man, I mean, she spoke a truth. She she spoke it, you know, from her perspective and uh, the way she put it. I mean, it adds up, you know, we got to pray for our country, y'all, together we can fight the evil doers please we have to now Tulsi Gabbard she just dropped the bombshell revealing that uh excuse me the un uh the unelected elites featuring the likes of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton is secretly running this country now we know that they saying that Kamala is installed and she's put in place to be Obama's fourth term because you know that was his last term. Well, he's currently his term right now, posing as Biden, right? Because we don't know who's running the country right now. It's obviously somebody or a group of people. Uh, they have an agenda. None of us have voted for those people. We don't even know who it is. We are an exactly oligarchy. Right. That's exactly right. And, and this, is, this is important for voters to recognize. And, you know, the, the more these Hollywood celebrities and other people say those kinds of things, it just reinforces that fact. Uh, and also the fact that they think that we as voters are so stupid as to fall for it, uh, to fall for the lie, the facade that they are, that they are creating. Uh, yes, it is Tony Blinken. Uh, who has turned the State Department, which is supposed to be uh, the, the department that's responsible for diplomacy and preventing war, into what is essentially a war department. And, uh, and we see Jake Sullivan, uh, who's the president, who's the National Security Advisor in the White House. And we, we see people like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, who are still calling the shots, and many yep. others whose faces and names will not be uh, on the front page or on your television anytime soon, uh, both in the government as well as outside of the government in the military industrial complex, uh, who, who are, they are part of this. They are of this cabal of, of, of neocon elitist warmongers who will put their power and their profits ahead of people every day of the week. Tulsi Gabbard, incredibly smart, incredibly smart, and I, I hope somehow some way that her and donald trump figure out something to integrate her in uh with this administration while he's in office man you know because the deep state they desperate okay <laughs> we are facing a very dangerous time ahead i'm gonna read a few comments it goes much deeper than blinken uh obama and clinton or clinton they are just mouthpieces for the globalists not a bombshell just confirmation of what we already knew somebody said who but who controls obama if you knows this oh yeah that's a question right there now uh all it's all been exposed just like god promised he's absolutely good i'm liking tosi more and more every day she is fierce uh likely many of us believe this already but excuse me i think i Ooh. uh i'm sorry likely many of us believe this already but glad she's speaking out for sure. Now, uh, I am mean wanted us to get our daily reminder, special counsel, Jack Smith's wife, Kathy. Ooh, now this is this this is where it all get a little sticky with the Obamas, okay? Produce Michelle Obama's Netflix documentary and donate it to Biden's 2020 campaign. A mother, Jack Smith, late mother-in-law, uh, was a Soros senior justice fellow at his Open Society Foundation. I've never seen actually U.S. politics exposed as such a show or theater before. That, that's really how it feels to me. And on the Jack Smith issue, I just think it's it's outrageous that CNN would never mention the fact, for example, that his wife actually works as a documentary filmmaker who made the whole documentary about becoming Michelle on Netflix. She's like a, a, basically a propagandist for the Obama family and the Democratic Party. And her husband is the one overseeing this operation to now usurp our Supreme Court to weaponize the judicial system against a former sitting president. I don't know. Who made the Obama documentary? Uh, Jack Smith's wife. What? Really? Yeah. That's crazy. What? Yeah. You can look up her name. It's something like Kate. I can send a link also over. Uh... I was like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I was listening to Katie, that. Katie like, uh, Chevigny. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No way. Is that for she's, real? She's like a hardcore Democratic Party 
operative sounds producer, like. Becoming. Yeah, be a producer. Becoming. It's called Becoming. Yeah, for some reason that was what Michelle decided to call her memoir. Wow. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say there? Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, Trump's special counsel's wife worked on Obama film and donated to Biden. This is a two-year-old story. How did I not that see this? Crazy. Can you imagine Holy if, if that if can you imagine if the tables were turned? I mean, we don't have, you know, a Netflix production company dedicated to producing pro-Trump propaganda on net or on, on US in US media. It just doesn't happen. No, but I mean, if that were possible yeah. and there was a, a a judicial official or a politically appointed official working within the judiciary to take out Obama. Do you not think that would maybe be the story for CNN? Wow. That's fascinating. I don't now you got people in the comment section that's like, noted, I didn't know this. And then you got other people just like, hey, we've been talking about this for a year now. You know, we all been in the loop. Uh, and somehow, I don't know why, I just don't expect anything less. You know, it's a big club. And I think that the Democrats, man, have evolved into... <laughs> I'm not trying to say you don't have no good hearts over there, but it has evolved into, bro, just elitists over there, dog. I'm just saying, you know, when you try to connect the dots, you know, it, I, I ain't know that. I didn't know none of this information, you know. And again, uh, just for journalistic integrity purposes, we're hearing the opinions at the same time, okay? I can't verify anything outside of uh, what she said. These are just claims and speculation until they get proven to be fact. For YouTube sake, y'all, y'all get it. Anyhow, former CIA officer confirms Barack Obama didn't care about a U.S. embassy and CIA annex under attack during the uh, Benghazi attack on the live and for Americans. Instead of making sure orders were followed, he got on the plane to Vegas to go see Beyonce and Jay Z. Yes. Blind to me celebrities was more important than an attack on U.S. facilities. Former CIA officer also confirms uh, more members involved still have, quote, super senior roles in the uh, U.S. government and never faced accountability. Let's check this clip out. Obama, this is while the attack's happening. Mm -hmm. So we have a, an embassy and a CIA annex under attack and the president of the United States is flying to Vegas to meet with Beyonce. Yep. You hear that, everybody? So the problem is way bigger than Hillary. I don't like to focus on Hillary because she's like the scapegoat and she's done a million things wrong, but God, there's so many other people. Jake Sullivan is in a super senior role in our government who had a way bigger role than Hillary and like people just ignore it. And like I said, they don't care that Obama went to Vegas. It just, it blows my mind. And then the fact that the Department of Defense can't, re they could not respond. They weren't even close to responding that night. Like sheer failure. All that stuff got pushed. You know, you just say it's Hillary and everyone's like, yeah and then nobody else had to be held accountable. I mean, Obama, as everybody knows, he did tell the Secretary of Defense, use all means to do this, and then he got on a plane to Vegas to go see Beyonce and Jay-Z. It's like, why did he not cancel that trip and stay and make sure his orders are followed up? My question is, how's all this stuff just finally starting to blow up and just starting to get put out in the open you know uh you know the leftists elite i guess are they getting tired of obama's strategy to run his country i don't know i will say it's interesting uh, somebody put this all on uh, hunter's laptop <laughs> oh but i will say this we remember after doing my research and finding out what I found out, I ain't gonna forget.